Hi everyone, prepare to be blessed by the ministry of Apostle Joshua Selman. Prepare to pray fervently and let your heart be opened to receive powerful prophetic declarations. Stay connected to this video production and God bless you. Thank you. The first prayer we are going to pray is a genuine prayer of repentance. Lord, every pride, every flesh, everything hidden within my heart, I bring it to the throne and I cry that you show me mercy. Purify my heart. Purify my motif. Purify my desires. Please open your mouth and pray. Purify my heart. I have found David. God has found you, but he's looking for his servant. God has found a musician, but he's looking for a worshiper. God has found a preacher, but he's looking for a vessel. God has found a businessman, but he's looking for a financial apostle. Welcome to Chat Now Channel. We are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in God's presence. The Bible says in Psalm 119 verses 130, The entrance of thy word is that light. As you listen and watch, may you experience the transformative power of God's light. Exalted I above the worship of the people of the earth, I see the Lord. I see the Lord For my eyes have seen the King You're the Lamb upon the throne Who reigns forevermore Go ahead and pray Porch my heart Porch my heart The Bible says nevertheless The foundation of the Lord standeth sure Having this seal, the Lord knoweth them that are his. And let every man that named the name of Christ depart from iniquity. It says, but in a great house, there are all kinds of vessels. Some unto honor, some unto dishonor. It says, if a man will purge himself, if a man will purge himself, Jacob, you can become Israel. If you purge yourself, that man becomes a vessel of honor, meat for the master's use. If someone pray, take everything. I surrender all to you. Everything I give. To you, I'm withholding nothing, withholding nothing, I'm withholding nothing, withholding nothing, I surrender to you. To you, I'm withholding nothing. Withholding nothing. Will you give yourself away? That's what His Majesty is asking you now. Will you give yourself away? So you can use you. Give yourself away. Condition number two to be called the servant of God. Number one is your heart, the state of brokenness. The second is your desire to live your life to serve his purposes eternally. I simply call it 
Jesus revealed, Jesus glorified, that that becomes the theme of your life, whether in business, whether in ministry, whether in family, that your entire life revolves around this theme to see Jesus revealed and to see Jesus glorified. When these conditions are met, you have become the servant of God. I have found David, but I found him with all kinds of lusts and flesh and, and disorganization, just wanting to use the anointing to promote an ambition. It doesn't come that way. David, become my servant. By submitting to the governing authority of Jesus and then having a new creed and a new theme that governs your life that my entire life revolves around the revelation and the exaltation of the Christ it doesn't matter whether it is in ministry it doesn't matter whether it's in politics that I'm here to promote the interests of heaven listen to me ladies and gentlemen when you assume that posture in the spirit you have become his servant you are ready to become like a trophy that he will display to the nations and show men the excellency of what it means to carry genuine power can i tell you when you study your bible and when you study modern history history is full of men and women who though ordinary they became servants of God indeed and certain mantles and graces came upon their lives you study men like Catherine and women like Catherine Kuhlman you talk about it right here in your soil great men and women and today in our world men like fathers fathers of faith like our very father Baba Deboe and our mother they speak may you be blessed and you see doors open it is not just in the words there is a covenant there is blood that is dripping on that altar a testament of death a testament of sacrifice now the nations are waiting for the revelation of God that will come through your life you are here gathered hear me the Holy Spirit is speaking to you do not allow destinies go down because of carelessness. Do not allow destinies connected to you to go down. Hear me? Imagine if there were never a Billy Graham. Imagine if there were never a Baba Deboye. Imagine if there were never a Reinhard Bonke. Do you know how many people would have gone to hell? Now it is your turn. Are you going to allow flesh? Are you going to allow flesh to lead you down while destinies are destroyed? Or will you rise up? Will you rise up and say, Lord, as far as I'm concerned, count on me. You can count on me with the destiny of nations. Open your mouth in one minute and begin to pray. Something is about to fall in this place. Hmm. Man of God, pray. Preachers, pray. It's time to carry genuine power. The earnest expectation of creation awaited the manifestation of the sons of God. It's time for every altar and every pulpit to carry genuine fire. Genuine fire. America, hear me. God wants to restore fire. Authentic fire. Fire that leads to soul save. Fire that leads to life transform. Someone is praying. Forget about who is at your left and right. Focus on Jesus and cry from the depth of your spirit. You are the one that we pray. You are the one we 
adore You give the healing and grace That our hearts always hunger for Oh, our hearts always hunger for Pray one minute. Take everything. Lord, I desire to be your servant in business, a witness, an ambassador in politics, in education, in family. Someone pray. Someone pray. For some of you, your family members are depending on your transformation and your empowerment. and grace that our hearts always hunger for oh our hearts always hunger for now listen everyone listen to me please lend me your attention lend me your attention I shared yesterday that there are two ways to receive the power of God number one is directly from God through encounters help a lady who begins to run now and shout under the anointing please make sure that they don't injure themselves whether you are an usher or not Hallelujah. Watch this. Number two, the second way to receive is through impartation. And I told you this morning that impartation is a transference of possibilities. That when God anoints a man, he intends for that anointing to reach everyone who is hungry and ready to receive. Not just for one person to hold it and merchandise it unfortunately are we together now hear me we are going to get straight into the miracle service that is already on there are three things that will happen here as my assignment this morning number one is an impartation that is already ongoing number two I'm going to be praying for the sick and that includes every oppression whatever it is you can stand in for yourself and stand in for your loved ones believe me when i tell you by god and upon the grace that is on our father there is no devil against your destiny that will remain after this encounter you will marvel and wonder at the power of god and then number three prophetically we are going to pray over our families and all the issues of concern and lift up a cry to heaven when we're done and ask the Lord to visit us hallelujah praise the name of the Lord now listen I want to pray I ask the people to come out not just for a show there is a reason why I ask now I'm going to make three requests number one whether you are an usher or not if someone is under the anointing close to you as much as you are receiving for yourself please do well to manage them so they don't injure themselves are we together and then eventually so that we do not have this place becoming so chaotic we may need to ask one or two of you to please volunteer and help when the time is needed so please do avail yourself if there's need to manage people this is not just some misbehavior of people there are many things happening to those you see under the anointing there are deliverances there are healings there are breakthroughs and there are impartations now i want to pray for you many years ago the lord jesus christ appeared to me and when the lord jesus christ appeared to me many of you may have heard it in my encounters 
he stretched his hand towards me and when he stretched his hand towards me light at his brilliance left his majesty Jesus and entered into me listen how I survived is something that is mysterious you cannot receive that kind of life now unfortunately and I say this respectfully today many claim to have seen Jesus many claim to even spend all the time with him but we cannot see that evidence of a genuine encounter go and read your Bible it took me more than one year to recover from that encounter I was not myself again the world became like a foreign place but in another encounter the Lord spoke to me please listen he said to every city and to every nation and every region I will send you to in every meeting there must be someone in that meeting that the light that came from me to you that that light must rest upon the person that is why you see all of these manifestations it doesn't necessarily make us anything it is not some celebrity man of God this is not what we are here to do we are here to reveal Jesus but I'm telling you that you are immersed in a cloud of glory right now and as I begin to pray for you I'm going to be releasing grace from heaven to rest upon you thank you Jesus in the name of Jesus everyone here who has the call of God upon his life that God has called you to serve in the ministry I release grace upon you now take that fire 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 America I bring you the fire of revival authentic apostolic revival take that fire take that fire take that fire let it burn in your spirit let it burn in the churches let it burn in your homes let it burn in the hospital let it burn in the school take that fire in the name of Jesus Christ the call of God upon your life it's time for that evangelistic call to find expression it's time for that pastoral call there are some of you who are called to be intercessors there are many women here like Anna the prophetess may that grace come upon you intercessors intercessors men of fire women of fire 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 I want to pray right now. I believe that there are people here who will become end time financial apostles. Men who will be trusted with the wealth of nations. I don't know where you are, but I stretch my hands. May that mantle of a kingdom financier, let it come upon you. Men who will sponsor the gospel. Men who will sponsor the gospel. Empowered by grace. Empowered by God. Hallelujah. Now hear me. Very quickly. If you are in this place. And you are trusting God for a healing. Any part of your body. Or you are trusting God for a loved one. Now is the time to be healed. I want you to place your hand. Right at the point you are trusting God for a miracle. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch. Just make contact with your chest. Standing for your loved ones. Standing for yourself. Don't doubt. Don't doubt. Believe. I want to pray. 
Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. The saints and the angels bow. The redeemed worship you now. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. For you are glorious and worthy to be praised. You are the Lamb upon the throne. And unto you we lift our voice in praise. You are the Lamb of all. your hands, I want to pray for you now. Jesus, something special, supernatural about your name. Jesus, something happens when I mention Hear me I'm about to pray for you now And here's what I'm going to ask you to do As soon as I pray Healings are already taking place I'm going to ask a few of you Who have received a miracle Let's have maybe one of the pastors Maybe Pastor Emmanuel or so Let's have one or two of the pastors So that as soon as you receive a miracle They will just direct you who have one or two testimonies let's shame the devil here at this campground and let the devil know that the rccg youths and the church even of young people and believers in america is still strong and alive and that jesus will forever be glorified now lay your hands as i pray shout a loud amen as i pray in the name of jesus in the name of jesus Every devil of infirmity, I stand upon the grace of our Father and the grace of Jesus Christ, and I declare every spirit that is behind every infirmity in the name of Jesus be gone now, be gone now, be gone now from the crown of your head. To the soles of your feet be healed in Jesus name be healed ah, Shabakato Seketa. be healed in Jesus name there's someone God is healing your arm your right arm severe pains the power of God is touching you now right now right now in the name of Jesus right now the Lord is showing me someone you have severe pains around your neck area. You can't even sleep on one side because of the pain. Right now in the name of Jesus, the power of God is touching you. The power of God is touching you. Every growth in your body, I command it to disappear now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I just saw like a sword of fire. And the Lord is saying he's delivering two people from depression. This is an acute state of depression. I command that spirit of depression. Leave them now. Leave them now. Leave them now. Out of their destinies in the name of Jesus. Now I decree and declare every blood condition be healed now. Blood conditions be healed now. Migraine headaches be healed now. Every bone condition, pains around your joints be healed in the name of Jesus. There's someone having severe back pain. In fact, you can't bend very properly. It's, it's excruciating. Right now, I decree and declare the power of God is touching you right where you are. Touching you right where you are. 
I'm seeing someone, your molars, there's, there's severe pain around your molars. The Lord is healing you right now. The Lord is healing you right now. Eye conditions, be healed now. Ear conditions, be healed now. The Lord is asking me to pray for someone. I think it's like your elder sister is suffering from cancer. They diagnose her of cancer in the name of Jesus. I don't know where that person is, but by the power that raised Christ from the dead, no matter what stage, we reverse it now. Cancer be healed. I hope you know that you are standing in for your loved ones. There are various stations, there are hospitals who are praying in the name of Jesus. There's someone who has excruciating chest pain. It looks like ulcer. In the name of Jesus, the power of God is touching you now. Touching you now. Inability to sleep. Inability to sleep. You lie down on the bed, but you are not able to sleep. Max one hour and that's it. In the name of Jesus, I release you from that oppression. Now hear me, anyone here called barren, unable to be with child, or for your loved ones who are connected in the name of Jesus Christ, by reason of this miracle service, according to the time of life, by this time next year, they return with their children. By, by this time next year, they return with their children. By this time next year, they return with their children. Hallelujah. We believe you are blessed by the message you just watched. Let us know what stood out to you in the comment section. You can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos. So more people like you will be able to watch these powerful messages. We celebrate you and see you in our next video. Thank you.